against all odds, Matt Maher III is a national champion. He closed out his junior season with an absurd college football playoff run, securing his first national championship and putting up some nuclear stats with Texas. In 2024 with Boise State, he put up 84 catches, almost 1,400 yards, and 16 touchdowns. With USC, he did not make a giant leap. He caught a few more passes and 200 more yards, but only found the end zone 13 times. But it was his junior year that he vowed to quit nicotine, lock in, and prove his deadbeat father wrong! 183 receptions, 3,400 yards, and 36 touchdowns for the 6'2", 205 deep threat wide receiver. Senior season's gonna be a good one. Every college in the nation wants Matt Maher the third. Seems like the only person who doesn't want him is Matt Maher the second. Now, we did just win a national championship and the Heisman Trophy with the Texas Longhorns. So the big question is, do we go back to Texas? They are a five-star program, but it reminds me a lot of my quarterback career. What else do I have to prove with Texas? I did everything. I got the Heisman. I got the Natty. By the way, crazy enough, there's only three five-star programs in the entire game right now. That's Texas, Georgia, and Nebraska. Yes, Nebraska in this road to glory is unbelievably good. We just played them in the national championship. All right, I won't tease you any longer. My decision is made. For senior year, Matt Maher III is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Yes, sir. Our final year will be on Oregon. Oregon's last season, they were eight and five. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, why did I decide on Oregon? Now, first things first, every dynasty, every road to glory I've ever played, I swear, the Heisman Watch always has an Oregon wide receiver. Always. Now, granted, Oregon's wide receivers are really good, but I think it has something to do with that Oregon playbook. And I've always wanted to try it out as a wide receiver. So we're gonna find out right now. Now here are the Heisman favorites right now. One of them is Nick Marsh, Michigan State, who has gone all the way up to a 98 overall. There's Taylor Tatum out of Oklahoma. Tyler Williams out of Minnesota, Aiden Mazel, Florida, and Micah Hudson, Texas, where I just left. Interestingly, none of the Heisman favorites are quarterbacks. It's four wide receivers and a halfback. Now, of course, I'd like to get my own name in that running, but let's take a look at Oregon's roster first. We are pretty far in the future right now, so I don't know what this roster is gonna look like. They are a hard 90 overall, and I'm the best player on the team. Holy shit, I'm the best player on the team. It's really crazy to look at me like that. I've got the star, I've got the Heisman Trophy, I've got a captain badge. We have three platinum tier mental abilities, one silver tier, we have four silver abilities, and one gold. That looks really cool to see it like that. Second best player on this team is another wide receiver, Jeremiah McClellan, he's a 94. We've got a stud middle linebacker. Quarterback is Austin Novosad. He's a really high overall, and he's a field general, which is super Super, super good. I expect this guy to make really good throws. I expect this guy to make really good throws. Our very first game is against Utah State. Looks like we may have an easy schedule. If we're starting out with Utah State, Purdue could be good, so could Baylor. Washington, Nebraska. Okay, Nebraska is gonna be a big game. You gotta remember, Nebraska is a five-star elite dominant program in this road to glory for whatever reason. Oh, and then we close the season with Ohio State. There are definitely some really tough teams on here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six ranked opponents. Here's what we look like in our brand new threads. Oregon has the sickest jerseys. This shit looks so fire. All right, my biggest fear is being, oh, I gradu- I graduated? This is the only road to glory where I have not redshirted. How did I graduate? Dude, maybe I did a bunch of AP classes in high school and I walked into college with 30 credits because this is the start of my senior year. I did not redshirt and I just graduated college in three years. Does anybody know how this happened? You know what? That ain't my problem. Oh my God, look at this. A 10 overall advantage on the Utah State Aggies. Home gang green, absolutely. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is senior year, gentlemen. It is senior year. We finally can go full beard if we want. All right, so I'm a mixed, I'm a mixed king with light blue eyes. I don't think I can rock the ginger burly. It just doesn't, I don't know. You ever seen a mixed guy with a stash like that? I don't think so. All right, but for the record, if you are consciously choosing this beard type, um, I'm calling the police. This shit kind of goes hard for no reason. I'm just gonna rock the fade with just, you know, like this little mini, 
this little mini Hitler stash thing going on here. I think we've finally earned the dark Oakley visor. Honestly, we have. Oh, with the green, with the green binky. And you're probably not gonna see him very often, but just like my great grandfather in my senior year, I'm going with the cross eye paint. Yup, that's a senior right there. He's ready to play ball. All right, gentlemen, senior season, Utah State's on the clock. It's time to see what our quarterback can do. It's time to see about this Oregon Ducks playbook. Come on! It looks like it's an all yellow game for Oregon. I can say Oregon Ducks home football game is absolutely on my playlist. Although I hope the weather would be better than this one. Our season opener is cloudy, rainy, taking on Utah State. The Mormons got me kicked off of Twitch, so I'm gonna run the fucking score up. Look at that, the star underneath, the green uniforms. A little bit of rain never hurt nobody. First and 10, let's run this curl. Good God, I'm so much faster than you. Although I curled that curl really hard. Lost myself some yards on that. This is kind of fun. We've got an RPO glance post. You think I could just take off and get a, oh my God, on the RPO! <laughs> on the RPO! Maher the third! My first touchdown as an Oregon Duck is off an RPO. That's nasty. Where is my visor? 100% sure I put on a dark visor. Where is that thing? Did we take it off because it's raining? Isn't that a thing? Like you take the visor off when it's raining? Or do I have that backwards? You want the visor, but I don't know. First and 10. Ooh, fine, hurdle! I lost the ball in that? Wait, what? I gotta see that again. Dude, I wasn't even aware that I lost the ball. You know what's crazy is they think that because I fumbled that I'm gonna stop hurling. They're damn wrong. Can we just get one thing straight? If you are Utah State's head coach and you have a white corner, why on earth would you press cover Matt Maher the third? Yeah, oh, shit! Scare touchdown, where the hell did you come from? Holy shit, dude, that guy must have been fast as hell. Utah State must have a safety that's a dog. He, I have never seen somebody track me down like that. First and 10, Utah State did not learn their lesson. I literally just ran right through him and I think this is a touchdown. Can we also appreciate the fact that number one, horrible release. Number two, my quarterback lofted the ball. That was a beautiful play. Now let's be real, this could be streak simulator. No doubt this could be streak simulator. Oh shit, I tried to run the curl. Now yes, there's no doubt this could be streak simulator, but I'm a, I'm a well-rounded wide receiver, okay? I'm not just a yak merchant. And I wanna show that off. I can block, see? Not only that, but I could run a crispy route right here. Third and nine. You ready? Take him in, bring him out. Beautiful route, third and ninth, stay in bounds, Maher. He's gotta get that ball on me sooner, and that's an easy first. First and 10, like dude, when I see press coverage, I literally just wanna take the touchdown, but like, I also like, wanna play the game, you know? Like that's a nice curl route I just ran. That's a nice curl route. They don't give me enough credit for the simple things, you know? All right, first and 10, halfback dive. I'm gonna go throw the block of a lifetime. Hey! I flattened him! Second and three! Damn it, I'm gonna do it, aren't I? Let's go with a fade. Let's take him in, bring him out. Ooh, did he get a touchdown anyway? Oregon is so nasty. Utah State continues to put up points though, 28 to 14. I'm sorry, that one's just so... I gotta pitch it. The Lord is compelling me to pitch this football. I don't have a choice! Shit! There's nobody? There's nobody on Oregon on my hip? None of my teammates are running down there with me? I love how my teammates like consoling me right there. Like, what do you think he's saying to me? Yo, tell me why it's 24 to 28 though. All right, first and 10. Let's kind of try and like get open. Yeah, like this. Let's use those wheels, baby. Oh! Maher! I tried to hurdle. You know damn well I tried to hurdle. I just didn't get up. Ooh, coach is pulling me? I gotta be gassed though. Understandably, I am right back in. Now first and 10. Oh, you're just gonna get fried here. I just don't see how he can. Good. Good little escape route. Ooh, second and four. Let's see if I can clear. I just wanna clear across the middle. Oh shit, I don't need it. Oh, no. Oh, I thought for sure I was coming down with that. Hey, dude, I have 99 spectacular catch and like 90 catch in traffic. I just don't come down with those balls as much as I'd like to. All right, first and 10, let's clear on this too. Beautiful, 
Beautiful. I'm too damn fast. Turtle! Yeah! We still got it! Second and two. I'm hoping this is man. I just want to cook him. Oof. I want to try and score on like a different route. Something I don't score on a lot like that right there. Oh, nasty post corner, but it was just not enough. What about the comeback route? Do we try and get the tutty off the comeback here? First and 10, let's look for it. Down to the end zone. Ooh. Stuttered it down, but we'll go second and four. I'm gonna see if I can't run a dig here. Second and four. It ain't, oh, I'm kind of there. But I'm just outside of it. Oh, you know, that's just chemistry between me and the QB. I wanna moss this kid so bad. I want to moss him so bad. Please just give me... S uppies, baby girl. We need uppies on that. First and 10. Ooh, ooh that was caught. And I'm a PPR monster right now. First and goal, clearing across the middle. Almost a hospital pass, but... Read Y corner. I don't know about a curl on this. Find me. Oh, good catch! And I'm pulled again. Honestly, though, I keep getting Oregon to like the two and then they just punch it in. So I'm doing my job. Play action wheel. Oh, I'm running this. Oh, I'm running this. You ain't never seen a slant streak post before. Slant streak post. Give it to me! Oh my god! My heart the bad! Why was that so nasty? Holy shit! Four touchdowns, 18 catches, and 423 yards on my first game with Oregon. And I gotta love it, dude. Oregon does, does not want to quit. I mean, honestly, let's be real, guys. Let's be real. I could do this every play. But that's not nearly as fun as the disgusting route that I just did. Dude, once you get takeoff, there is no difficulty that's hard. Like, the fact that I have gold tier takeoff, it just makes, it makes Heisman not even difficult. All right, this play, by the way, is nasty. Play action wheel. This consistently, like torches out of the tight end spot and he hits the wheel beautiful i might have bumped him forward too i'm looking out for my team player of the game who else i mean let's be real who else Maher the third putting on a clinic and i and, and i was not a yak merchant i had a post vert street wheel i was in my bag today can we talk about the pitch though we need to go watch the pitch because how were none of my teammates with me so let's talk about this route out of maher okay stop and pop find the sweet spot in the zone oh wait this was the first fumble i also don't know how this occurred ah honestly here's what happened i lost my ability to have a child because this man just gave me a one for all free vasectomy and then i fumbled the football that's what happened here it hurt so bad the thought of never having a child made me so upset that i dropped the football Okay, but the second one though, how is there not a single teammate here with me? Okay, all right. Yeah, I guess I'm just that fast. I guess I'm just that fast. This should have gone to 28 though. How did this not go to 28? Wait, that was a great pitch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How does 28 not get this? He's fucking asleep at the wheel. 28. Stevie Wonder would have picked that football up. Stevie Wonder himself would have heard that football hit the turf. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and now you're turning around. CTE is one hell of a drug. The true beauty, of course, is a 59-24 win over Utah State to kick off Oregon's season. I know it's coming, but it still feels great every time. Big 10 Offensive Player of the Week, and it's gotta be national. Although, you know what's funny? National really could have gone to my quarterback since I fumbled not once, but twice. And after a dominant start to the season against Utah State, Maher III and the Oregon Ducks went on a tear. Week two was against an unranked Baylor team, a 34 to 16 W. And week three was a rivalry match for the state of Oregon, but it's clear who's the powerhouse. 35 to 10 for the Ducks. Next up was a ranked opponent, the Washington Huskies, but they too were no match for the Oregon Ducks, 45 to 10. And that leads us to a massive week five matchup where Oregon is taking on Nebraska. Keep in mind, this is the same Nebraska team that we just played 
in the national championship on Texas. And guess what? They are number one in the nation. They're three and oh. And sitting firmly at the top of the Big Ten is Oregon, since we're two and oh in the conference. But Nebraska is also undefeated and one and oh in the conference. And so is the University of Michigan. And guess what? The University of Michigan is also on our schedule. Out of any Road to Glory I've ever played, this may be the toughest schedule I think I've ever had. Nebraska this week, Michigan next week, number three, Penn State, and number 11, Ohio State. Good Lord, this schedule stuff. We do have a ton of skill points to spend though before this Nebraska game. I think I'm about ready to go to a 99 overall. We'll grab a little more XP, bring our health back to full so we don't get wear and tear to death. I'll bump a little more points into Influencer. I've got 200K followers now. This is the most I've ever had uh, in a Road to Glory. 18 skill points is diabolical. Honestly, we should just go to a 99 because how sick is it going to be to be a 99 overall? I'll put six points into IQ makes us a 97. Also, now my bulk carrier vision is 70. Hopefully I fumble less on my hurdles. Route running, six skill points into this gives us 99 deep, 98 release, 97 medium. We need seven skill points to get our short route running up, but I am actually a 99 overall already, so we don't technically have to do this. I still want to though of course so we'll hang on to those skill points and do that next Oregon still a 90 overall I've never seen Nebraska be this good but look at how like look at their overall Nebraska if you just start a dynasty with Nebraska I think they're like an 82 or something Dylan Raiola Patrick Mahomes clone best player on Nebraska they just perform so well it's kind of weird I've never seen a team like Nebraska just take over a dynasty like this they're corners how could we forget how can we forget about this fucking guy? Rich Richie. Now, Mario Buford is technically their best corner. He's their corner one. But last time we played Nebraska, they were really smart. They made sure that Rich Richie was guarding me every single rep. Despite that, he still got fried. And I do think that's because of his acceleration. Rich Richie's got a 99 top speed. That's fine. But I've got 99 acceleration. Richie's got 89. So I hit my top speed a lot faster. Regardless, he's got Jammer and House Call. So he's a good DB. And I didn't think I'd be seeing Nebraska again. Especially when they're this good. And both of us are fighting to retain our undefeated streak. I think away might... Honestly, I think those away unis look like shit. Oh my god, did they put new uniforms in for Oregon? Oh yeah, they did. Holy shit. The 2023 aways are so sick. Oh my god, they got all their uniforms. Oh, that's so fucking sick. Dude, how do I not rock that? Oh, I'm rocking eggshell. Nope, these are some of my favorite uniforms of all time. I'm rocking eggshell big time. First game as a 99 overall is in Nebraska Stadium. Okay, it is so confusing how it'll just randomly decide to give me long sleeves. But these jerseys are sick. I hate the long sleeves though. And Rich Richie is fast. I'm so sick of you, Rich Richie. I guess I have my visor back though. Oh God, it's loud in this stadium. You gotta find me, buddy. Oh my God, he's getting bodied back there. Third and 14. I gotta clear. I gotta clear in front of this. I gotta give him a sec. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, give me a block. Get there! The super hurdle almost worked, but it's fourth and one. Legitimately sad that they put these long sleeves on me because they look so stupid. Why did they decide that I want these? Just gonna continue to try and take these easy ones. I don't know how often I'll be able to take Rich Richie over the top. Although this looks like zone, this has a chance here. Second and nine. Oh, yes, sir, good scene. Oh! Oh, you gotta hang on to that football. Third and nine. Gotta try. Gotta try! That's a bad ball. I haven't beat. All right, some big missed opportunities by Oregon right there. Luckily, Nebraska doesn't score, but we are pinned up against our own four. I'm gonna stay zoomed out here so I can try and see what kind of coverage we got. Damn! Get lit up by linemen. Second and four. See if I can get to the outside on this one. Shade myself down and in. This does look like man coverage. That is a decent ball. It's a very good catch. Jeremiah McClellan, huge catch. For the first time all game, Rich Richie is not guarding me. Wait, no, 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 no. Shave me back in. Shave me back in. I don't think Rich Richie's on me here. He's not. Okay, but that works. That works. That works. That works. I'm genuinely so bothered that the team, the game just decided I want to wear green long sleeves today. Why would they decide that for me? Hey! I haven't fumbled out of hurdles since I got my ball here in Michigan. All right, we're going to play XG on second day. We got to get on the board. Gets the ball off. Nice pass. Dude, the stadium's too damn loud. First and 10. Let's go for the tutty here. Oh, just kidding. Don't need it. Don't need it. Beautiful. Hurdle! 
that was gonna go over top of Rich Richie. Second and ten. Oh, I'm wide open. What do we got? What do we got? Maybe I should try a different move other than the hurdle, huh? Oregon gets seven. Nebraska gets seven. Oh, this is definitely going to be a close game. First and ten. Rich Richie, can I take him? Can I take him? Come on, Rich! He's got house call. He's got platinum tier house call. We can't let him go. Rich Richie's a dog, bro. Rich Richie's a dog. Shit. Maybe if the game didn't put me in these stupid ass long sleeves. It doesn't look, it looks horrible with this uniform too. And it just decided I want to wear that. First and 10, one of the few opportunities where Rich Richie is not guarding me. We got to take advantage of these every time he gets the ball out way too fast. Oregon QB is selling right now. Second and 10, Nova Sod is just not the guy right now. All right, he finds me. Nice little hole. Oh, tried to get the spin off. No dice. And coach is gonna pull me. Come on, coach. I'm getting frustrated now. We're down by 10. You need me in the game right now. All right, first and 10. Opportunity to score here. We gotta take advantage of it. Oh, you gotta give me that. Second and five, and they're pulling me again. What are we doing? Why am I coming out? Take me out to get no yards, put me right back in. Third and five. Throws to the fucking moon. What are you doing? Oh my God, Oregon is selling. We started the season so hot. Now we're playing a good opponent. We are crumbling. Honestly, I just got to make a huge play. First and 10, please give me the ball. Good start. Beautiful. Hey, four yards. We'll start somewhere. Third and six. Got to get a first down here. Yes, sir. Easy, easy. How much more can we get? A good spin. Damn. I went I went too south with that spin. That had a chance, though. First and 10, we got play action wheel here. Let's see if we can get past Rich Richie. Oh, I do. Wait a minute. Okay, great, great throw, honestly. Great throw. He had two wide open guys. Nice play. Coach is going to pull me again. We're getting pulled a lot on Oregon. A lot more than I feel like we should be. I have not found the end zone yet. Nebraska's tough. Rich Richie. Not a guy I could just blast over the top. We just got to play smart. And there's a nice throw out of Nova Sad. Having a really good drive right now. And Coach is pulling me again. Dude, what am I missing? Why? I've gotten pulled more this game than I've gotten pulled in the last two seasons. Second and eight. I cannot let Rich Richie have the better of me. I got to get a touchdown on this matchup. And this is a good opportunity. Stay in bounds. We'll take third and two. Dude, it literally Coach is putting me in for a play. Subbing me out. Putting me in. Subbing me out. Putting me in. Subbing me out. Here he is again. Wasted a third and two, and he's got me back in the ball game. We got to make a play. Fourth and two. Big play. Soft spot. Sit down. Maher, what? Look, he threw that ball so far behind me. What the hell was that? Wildcat jet sweep is the play call here. I'm first and ten. I've got to throw a great block, and I do. <laughs> That's an elite play, though. All right, MM Blocker in his bag. Now first and 10. Oh my God, what is this Oregon QB throwing? I'm not even calling for the ball. Dude is freaking me out, bro. Second and 10, we go with a handoff there for a good four yards. And then coach decides to pull me on third and six. You know what's gonna happen now? They're gonna not get the first down, then they're gonna fucking punt the football. And now it's Nebraska's ball and they score. What the fuck? Why am I getting pulled? I'm not wearing teared. I'm not fatigued. First and 10. Where the fuck are you throwing? What the fuck are you doing? I'm not calling for the ball. And you're throwing a lofter on a curl route. Holy shit. Austin Novosad is pissing me the fuck off. What the, what are you doing? I never should have left Arch Manning, bro. First and 10. Now you can throw me the football. Oh. Dude, this guy fucking sucks. He doesn't know how to loft the football. All he'll throw is bullets when I have my man. Rich Richie has more catches than me. Three interceptions for Rich Richie. This quarterback fucking blows. First and 10, press covered. Here's a good opportunity. There's no way you just did that again. I have a curl route. I have a curl route. Why are you throwing me lobs? Second and 10, this guy's a psycho. And now he does. Now you loft it. Now you lost it! Oh my fucking god, I just torched him by four yards! And now you wanna throw a fucking Hail Mary! It's Nebraska's ball! That was a touchdown! If he bullets it. Oh my fucking god. 
This guy sucks so bad. What are you doing? Game over. Thank God. Get me out. Oh my God. If he does that again, we cannot win the national championship. If he plays anything like that, we cannot win the national championship. Look at the separation here. I've got a yard or two on Rich Richie and he throws a low bullet to my chest that I have to turn around for. If he lofts this football, it's a touchdown. Not to mention Rich Richie did kind of teleport to that football. Honestly, I pray that we get redemption against Nebraska. There is no way that Rich Ritchie is getting the last laugh, dude. There's no way. That takes us into our next game. Our next game is against the University of Michigan, who's also undefeated, also in the Big Ten. I gotta see Nebraska again, bro. So we gotta win this game. We'll probably play them in the Big Ten Championship if we can make it there. We do have eight skill points now, so we can make ourselves a true 99 overall. We have now officially gotten every single stat upgrade that is possible. 99 in deep, medium, short route running and release. 99 catch, spectacular catch. Uh, 93 jumping, 96 change of direction. We are fast as hell. Um, abilities wise, we can now get anything that we want. I think layout would be really cool to improve. I think shifty and maybe even recoup since my coach thinks he needs to keep pulling me for whatever reason. All right, we gotta we gotta bounce back and beat the University of Michigan right now. I'm so frustrated after that last game. I'm just gonna go 2023 away uniforms. Hopefully it doesn't decide to give me long sleeves again. Please don't. All right, they put long sleeves on me again. We're, we're, we gotta fix this. All right, so for the record, I don't have sleeves on at all. I did put on this arm sleeve quarter, but and that shouldn't be giving me long sleeves. Dude, what the actual hell? Dude, what is going on? Now we're in these uniforms. Why are you doing this to me? You're trying to make me look stupid. Oh my God. Dude, Austin Novosad can actually kick rocks. Third and three. Oh, Jesus. That was a touchdown if he doesn't turn around and do that. Got a star corner on us. First and 10. Yep, clear. Couldn't get the hurdle off, that's okay. Second and five, and I'm getting pulled. Oh my God, I played three snaps, Oregon. I played three snaps. This is what I get for leaving Arch Manning in Texas. I was in a beautiful program. Oh my God. Dude, it's third and 13. The game has forced me to wear shitty arm sleeves, and I'm cold. Senior season is not going how we want it. Although that is an absolute laser and maybe a touchdown. No, he gets caught and I'm getting pulled. Dude, let's just lock in. Let's just lock in and make and make this happen. Okay. Okay. That was nasty. Seven yards right there was beautiful. Second and three, star corner out of Michigan. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have too much success trying to burn him either. Dude is definitely fast. I'm gonna try the RPO glance post. See how this looks. Oh my God, that post is open. Do I have the wheels? Oh my God, Maher the third. After a scoreless game against Nebraska. I'm finally back in the Dude, that Nebraska game may have been the first game that I've user control and not scored a touchdown. And that's in my senior season as a 99 overall. That's crazy how bagged I was. First and 10, just a little smoke screen here. I'm actually very open. Ooh. My open field juke is still not that strong. Second and five. Let's zoom this camera out so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to motion down. Oh, if they let that set up. 28 seconds left. You are in no huddle and you pull your wide receiver one. I really do love Road to Glory. EA has come a long, long way, but I pray that they make this mode more playable next time. Like they got to Okay. A beautiful, beautiful ball. But EA has to like help you. Like they should be telling me how to make my quarterback not throw dog shit footballs. Like that Nebraska game, my quarterback literally threw the ball wrong. Think every time. He would bullet when he should have lobbed and he'd lob when he should have bullet. And it'd be nice if I could just tell him to not fucking do that, you know? Also, I'm bagged here. Although it looks like we will be able to win this game against Michigan if we continue to play the way we played. I'm hoping I can put a post corner on right here. Oh, I can. Oh, I'm a little sad. Second and two. The glance post. I'm going to turn it into an out route. I'm going to take some solid yards on that play. And then we're going to hit the red zone. The coach is going to pull me. Oregon goes up to 34. RPO glance post. Ooh, this has a chance. Let's see if my outside really Oh, it's not. Okay. Tried to play me over the top. So I ended up still getting eight yards on it. Second and two, let's run the curl. I don't want him cheating over the top on me every time. 
So if I actually run the curl, maybe he'll stop. And that's it. I'm getting pulled. I 100% saw the field so much more at Texas, though. Oregon consistently pulls me out the game. Ooh. There's nothing more frustrating than not calling for the ball and your quarterback still throws a pick to you. It's like, buddy, I'm asking for the ball damn near every play. So if I'm not asking for it, I'm probably not open. I respect the hustle though, Nova Sad. Honestly, I gotta, you know, I gotta give him some confidence. I gotta believe in him. Cause if I don't believe in him, nobody's gonna believe in him. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, it won't even let me jump for that. Let me go up and moss somebody, dude. First and 10. Where's takeoff? Why am I not getting takeoff activated? Takeoff should be activating here. I have, I'm not press covered. Well, you see gold tier takeoff. That's so weird. That's a nasty route. Can we take it all the way? Oh, I just Spartan kicked you into the end zone. Dude, dude. I just Spartan kicked that man into the end zone. We're dominating Michigan. Dude, I pray that I get to see Nebraska again. I pray I get to see Nebraska again. Oh, I've got so much beef with Rich Richie. I got beef with Austin Nova said too. In the biggest game, he was the most dog shit. In every other game, he's been like he's been perfect today. He was amazing against Utah State, worthless against Nebraska. It's like his sliders got changed. Oh, that's that's got a big play written all over it. Oh, but I gotta break that. And naturally, we are now close to the red zone, so I'm coming out of the football game. Tell you what, if I want to touch down in Oregon, I gotta do that shit all by myself. His coach does not like to see me get reps. Fourth and two, we gotta use takeoff here to get inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful play. That's how you get yourself first down. Let's go inside zone and let's go throw a block here. I'm gonna motion myself down and I'm gonna block this big boy right here. I'm gonna block 27. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna get on the backer. Second and nine, I'm out of the game. Yes, of course, I'm very winded coach from doing nothing on that play. I'm so gassed, you better pull me. Dude, it's literally one play on, one play off. One play on, one play off. One play on, one play off. I don't know what I did to cause that. I have no different settings on. I'm only a higher overall. This is the kind of shit that EA needs to fix or address. At least just let me know, you know? If like, if there was some feature at all that told me what I could do differently so that it doesn't happen, that would be super helpful. Instead, I'm just sitting here scratching my head. Why the hell is the wide receiver one coming out in the red zone? Who are you possibly subbing in? Can you imagine the Vikings just taking Justin Jefferson out every other play? Picking up the win against Michigan is huge. We're gonna need that to go to the Big Ten Championship and and hopefully play Nebraska. So right now in the Big Ten, Nebraska's at the top 4-0. They haven't lost. Neither is UCLA. And uh, we've lost in the Big Ten, but we've also played the most games. We have a 6-1 record. And by the end of senior season, it was pretty clear what was about to happen. Gentlemen, we are second in the nation, 10-1. and one. Our only loss, of course, coming to Nebraska and Rich Richie. What a frustrating game. I'm still pissed off about it. I'm not even gonna lie. And what do you know? The conference standings. There's been an interesting shift in the Big Ten. The top two teams, Nebraska and Oregon. Nebraska is literally undefeated. I have no idea why Nebraska is the most dominant powerhouse in this road to glory, but they're insane. They haven't lost a single game. We're 10 and one. We're seven and one in the Big Ten. The only way we lose our spot is if we lose right now to Iowa. Iowa is four and three in the Big Ten. They're five and five record. Minnesota is eight and two, but they're six and one in the Big Ten. So if they won today and we lost to Iowa, it would be Minnesota, Nebraska, in the Big Ten Championship. I am so depressed to say that my brand is at Superstar, except I literally have not gotten an NIL deal pop up at all. So I've got 300K followers and no bread, no brand deals, no MM sellouts. That's crazy. I'll just double up on leadership. We've got 11 skill points heading to this game. That means we're definitely gonna get a new ability. I think gold tier shifty would be kind of cool. We also could take platinum tier takeoff. Feel like that could be kind of nasty too. Let's start with gold tier shifty. I want two gold tier abilities, so we'll take that for now. Next thing I'll be grabbing is platinum tier takeoff. I I'm gonna rock these unis. I know we're taking on Iowa, so it might look weird, but I'm wearing them. I have to, bro. They're so sick. See if Iowa has a decent alternate. This will go well with. You know what? Iowa, you can wear your home uniforms. Go ahead, you guys. Because we're wearing these. We're going to beat the shit out of you. And I'm getting my redemption against Rich Richie. I'm so sick of Rich Richie. This guy's going to be in my dream. God damn, these jerseys are so sick. Please, for the love of God, tell me I don't have stupid, shitty arm sleeves on though, please. I don't want these on, you're ruining my fucking drip. Look at how sick these uniforms are. Man. 
All right, I'm gonna take out all my fucking anger of about Rich Richie on this Iowa team. We're gonna start out with a huge play. Dude, legitimately so, actually, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this. I'm figuring it out right now. I'm not wearing these stupid sleeves again. So if you can clearly see here, I do not have arm sleeves on my player. Left arm is none, right arm is none. I'm about to give him something stupid to see if it'll negate that. All right, I'm shooting black quarter arm sleeves. Hopefully that will fix the issue. For the love of God. <laughs> you know what? I will say though, it made them all black, which looks significantly better. All right, I guess I'm just condemned to wear fucking arm sleeves. You got Matthew Judon's kid. Oh my God, I just fried him. Oh, that little spin out was gross. I can't believe I have a rivalry with Rich Rich. Oh, come on, let me boss him. Oh my god, you like these nuts! You like them? Oh, they're fucking hard boiled, hard boiled nutsack. You love that. All right, first and goal. We got a little wildcat. I'm blocking. Come on, come on, come on. Good blocks, Maher. All right, I got single coverage over here. Give it to me. Little speed out. I'm fighting forward talk about a game bro this is so crazy my players supposed to have a green pacifier black quarter sleeves they just completely overrode what i said and give him whatever the fuck they want i guess i don't care because it looks kind of sick he's got the he's got the yellow binky first and 10 iowa corners in press coverage you know exactly what that means. It means Nova Sad's gonna throw a dog shit bullet, but it ain't Rich Richie guarding me, which means I can actually house it still. See, that's the difference. When Rich Richie's guarding me, if it's a bullet, he's gonna pick it. But if they don't have the speed, the bullet, you can get away with the bullet. And honestly, I think that's why I've kind of like not noticed for so long. That was just a bad ball. That, that didn't really have a chance. I was defended very well there. I've been MM not positivity. So let's lock in. Oh, I should've hurdled. What am I thinking? Here's a shuffle route. I should be able to use takeoff here. Does he believe? You know what's funny? I think I'm gonna get pulled now. Cause I ran like 30-ish, no. Okay, I don't know dude. I don't know why they pull. First and 10, press coverage. Release of a lifetime? Maybe. Maybe. I have to. You know what I have to do? Oh, I didn't see you! You cuck! I was gonna pitch it! Oh, the shit. It's 14 to 14 though. And what do you know? We're back in the red zone. So coach pulls me for a play and then just subs, like what? It must be Oregon's playbook. Like I've been, oh no. <gasps> you. Austin Novosad? Austin Novosad, I want your testicles on a fucking kebab so that I can suck. Dude, I just fried the shit out of this man and you're busy throwing an interception? Oh my God, this guy can kick rocks. He's an 88 overall, he should be good. First and 10, he's gonna hand that off and get zero yards. MM tight end, wait a minute. MM tight end! Third and 10, I got a possession catch that from him to come down with it. Hey, coach, how's Maher doing? Oh, he has six catches for 195 yards and two touchdowns. You wanna pull him? Yeah! See if we can't just fry this kid. See if we can't just give him the fucking post corner of a lifetime, we sure can. Second and three. That's good work. Press coverage. This Iowa DB's been wishy-washy. Sometimes he's clean and sometimes he does that. Right there. Second and three. God, these uniforms are so sick. Look at that, dude. Looks so clean. Second and 10. Oh my God. That could not have been easier. That was just silly. Nine catches, four touchdowns, 278. Do got a drop on that resume though. Do got a drop on that resume. Dude, I'm about to just make the most ridiculous shit up ever here. I'm about to run that one time. I'm gonna try that. You see what I just did? I'm just gonna turn a play into an orbit bubble and I'm gonna call for the football. Dude, I'm gonna try some weird shit. Hold up, hold up. Oh my God! Oh my God, what? Was that a one-time fluke or did I just come up with the nastiest play of all time? That was on double slant. Yo, I need to, I need to see that again. I need to see that again. Please tell me you have a replay option. If I press nothing, I think it usually replays the play. We have to see this again. Okay, so I orbit bubbled the slant, looped around, cut up field. We got it, I, okay. This is so weird. Take a look at the scoreboard. Right now it says it's Iowa's ball, but it's definitely not. It's definitely our ball. 
Here we go. Can lightning strike twice? Oh, if I make that spin move, I can. Wait, this is awesome. This is way more fun. Hold up. And then I get a downfield blocker there. Oh, dude, I think I just like broke Road to Glory. I don't know how or why, but I just kind of busted Road to Glory a little bit. All right, I, I don't think Lightning can strike twice. I think I just did a ridiculous fluke play and I don't know that I can replicate it. But damn it, I'm gonna try. You just gotta give me some time. I just need some time, Oregon. Yup. Okay, so that was fucking ridiculous. Why did that happen? 30 and 20, I gotta make some magic happen. There's only one way to do that. And it's to catch a backwards pass. Damn near get a safety, have 35 fucking Hawkeyes on me, holy shit! All right, it's very clear that I had a one-time fluke and I'm never gonna do it again. It's now 28 to 38, this game got kind of close, so we're gonna have to pull out the secret weapon. Oh my god, you're fast! Everybody's fast! Also, that spin went the wrong way, it's just a sad day right now. Oh my god, but I still got fucking takeoff. Yoink! <gasps> Double! The double hurdle! Coach! Whose dick are you sucking? Coach, is it your son that's wide receiver too? Because how do you watch that play and then sub me out? Coach, you could watch college football for the rest of your goddamn life and you're never gonna see a double hurdle like that. Why are you subbing me out? That's crazy, coach. Yeah, coach realized. God, coach got off the fucking perk 30. Third and goal, this is a touchdown. Shit. Okay, we're gonna max protect this. Why is it not letting me max protect it? Third and goal doesn't fucking matter. It's a touchdown. Just give me the fucking ball. Yeah! Come on, baby! Six touchdowns? Oh no, you read that wrong. It's not six touchdowns. Because this is a 97 yard cutty. That's seven touchdowns. First and ten. Yoink. Yoink. Oh my god. That wasn't even a bullet. He threw that shit at fucking waist level. Would you throw it from down here? Do you fucking softball pitch that to me? Second and ten! Holy shit! Timeout, Oregon. Coach, if you pull me out, dude, I'm gonna have your head on a fucking platter. Thank you! Third inches. I need seven. I need it. Oh my god, Austin Novo sad. There's only so many pieces of furniture in my room that I can hump before I freak out. 35 to 45, seven touchdowns. Inbound, 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 inbound! I must, I must! Fuck! You have to understand, I had to. You don't understand what the voices in my head are saying. 35 to 45, a dub for Oregon. I learned a new play call. I think I had negative 100 rushing yards. But we still had a nuclear game. Nova Sad scares me, for the record. Stanley Blue has a 463.6 QBR because he completed one pass for four yards and a touchdown. Yeah, I don't know the math on that. Um, I had four rushes for negative 37 yards. Congratulations, Maher. And, um... Mm, I did go absolutely dummy with six touchdowns, 369 yards, 17 receptions, though. So you can only say so much. Oh, shit! <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for! The Big Ten Championship is against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And the biggest rivalry in college football is not Oregon, Nebraska. It's Matt Maher the third and Rich Ritchie. We got the better of him in the national championship against Texas, but this regular season with Oregon, he clamped the shit out of me. Four interceptions for Rich Ritchie. It was my first game in a in years that I haven't had a touchdown. I had 12 catches for 120 yards. It was by far my worst game in a long, long time. Finally, we're gonna get to see him again. The Big Ten Championship taking on the fully undefeated Nebraska Cornhuskers. Our only loss of the season coming to them. This is basically like a national championship preview. The number one versus the number two team in the nation. Crazy how it works out like that. We've got 12 skill points headed into this game, meaning we could go platinum tier takeoff or platinum tier shifty. We could upgrade double dip layout or recoup as well. It's a hard decision. 
I feel like I need platinum tier to beat Rich Richie. By the numbers, we're virtually the exact same team, but we have a slightly better defense. The impact player is Matt Maher the third, but honestly, the impact player I think is Rich Richie. Headed into the biggest rivalry game of our lives and determining who wins the Big Ten and gets a bye in the college football playoffs. We end our regular season with Oregon with a spectacular stat line, 97 receptions, 1,900 yards, 21 touchdowns and the longest reception of our career and potentially a lot of games left but we got to get past nebraska first this is our kryptonite right now and in the next episode we'll play nebraska and make our college football playoff push i have never been more ready gentlemen i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode peace